Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to Salem Lake as we continue to celebrate the uh, uh, work that's going to be going on all over the city of Winston-Salem as a result of the $139 million bond referendum that was approved by voters in 2014. As we said, in most of these uh, groundbreakings, it's, it's just a validation, I think, of the, the citizens' uh, understanding of the fact that a city government's like someone owns a house. You have to spend dollars on your house and to keep it up and keep it improving. And today we're celebrating here at Salem Lake. This is a wonderful facility here in our community that perhaps uh, maybe is not totally known by all of our citizens, a little bit of an un, uh, unknown uh, treasure in our community. So today we're doing a groundbreaking for a four and a half million dollar uh, project here in uh, Salem Lake. Basically where we're at here will be a new marina facility uh, with uh, the new uh, uh, warden shop and warden's uh, offices and then upstairs will be a community room uh, with wonderful views and, and the community room can be used by others. Uh, improvements to the uh, point over here with uh, uh, a playground and things of that nature and then over on Linville Road which is the another access point to the trail that goes all the way around Salem Lake we'll be improving the uh, uh, parking area over there and as Tim says most importantly adding bathrooms <laughs> over in that particular area. Uh, delighted to be here this morning with a number of our colleagues from the, the City Council. I also wanted to recognize um, uh, Laura Hutchins, uh, who's here, who's the daughter of Brian Hutchins, who is the, the Salem Lake Warden here for many, many years and worked here many years, loved this place. And I know he would be really happy to see this, this work. He lobbied for it <laughs> many times there. I uh, also remember the family of Quincy Stoker, who is also a long-term warden here as well. So we're glad you're here today as we continue this program. And I'd like to now uh, call on our Mayor Pro Tem, Councilmember Vivian Burke, uh, for some comments. Watch my shoes, yes. <laughs> Good morning. It's Good afternoon. Is it afternoon? Yes. It's afternoon. Some of us have been by to visit one of our family members father passed, Miss Smith's father passed, so we've been there, and I know we all want to make sure that we express within and without how we feel about Miss Smith and her family. Today is such a beautiful day. As I was riding in here, and I said, how can a citizen of Winston-Salem not feel good about what we do as elected officials? And I thought about how hard the mayor and council people work to make sure that the citizens can appreciate what we have and know what we have. So with our parks and recreation department, with our marketing department, and all other departments who work to make places like this wonderful and safe. And to the council person in the area, I know how pleased you must be. And I said, if people want to meditate and feel good, if you just look there, you don't have to go to a therapist. <laughs> just come out and just look at God's beauty. So I want to say thanks to all of you for what you do in this city to make it a place where all of us can feel safe, to the chairman of the Recreation Parks Commission, Mr. Conrad, to, of course, to my Mr. Greg Turner, who's here. The, uh, the city manager said he was going to be here. He was over. We left him. Right. Oh, I think he's going to be at the funeral. I see Mr. Rao is here. All right. I just want to say thanks for letting me breathe in this beauty. Isn't it wonderful, council member? I knew I would see that smile. Isn't it wonderful, again, the council person from the area? Isn't it wonderful, Mr. Montgomery, you're so close to this area? Yes, yes. And Mayor, to you, which I say I feel that sometimes you need to toot the horn a little bit harder mm -hmm. and a little bit more. And we have this opportunity to be on television 13, I see our park rangers are there. We appreciate what you do. We need to say to the taxpayers, 
we spend your money wisely. And we encourage you to be a part of the decision making. We're transparent. And I would pray and hope that God would continue to bless us and to give us what we need to continue to make this city a wonderful place to work, live, play. <laughs> Mr. Relaxer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Burke. I certainly she, she nailed it that this is such a wonderful facility right here in the heart of the, the city. If you think about it, in uh, less than 10 minutes, you can be right downtown. So it's a great facility. And not only is it a wonderful recreational facility, but this lake provides 20% of the water that uh, we provide to our citizens all across the county. So uh, Tim Grant, our Director of Parks and Recreation, does a great job of maintaining that as well. So let me call on the, uh, the council member from the Southeast Ward, sensational Southeast Ward, council member James Taylor. Thank you. Good afternoon. I bring greetings on behalf of the residents of the sensational Southeast Ward. And the work that we're doing here today is one of the reasons why we're so sensational. Uh, today we break ground on Salem Lake, which includes, as has been mentioned, our multi-use marina facility, our playground, and some of our restrooms on the other side of the lake that will be utilized by our residents who enjoy our, our greenways and our trails. But this facility is wonderful, it stands on its own merit, but it's a small piece of the puzzle to the larger picture of branding and in economic and community investment in our community. In the upcoming months, you will see the opening of the Salem Creek Connector, which will connect uh, the area where we stand to our downtown community, where we've had so much uh, economic and community investment. My plan is to work with our colleagues on the City Council to create one of the first districts outside of downtown, the Leisure District, that ties in all of our leisure opportunities here in the southeastern portion of the city from Bowman Gray Stadium to Reynolds Park, to Reynolds Park Pool, Reynolds Park Recreation Center, Reynolds Park Golf Course, the Quarry Park, uh, our proposed library project, Salem Lake, and as we speak, there's a sidewalk being constructed from Salem Lake all the way up to Southeast Plaza where we've had other amounts of significant investment. So this project is good. It means a lot for the people of this community, but again, it's a part of the larger picture of community investment and economic development. I thank the mayor, Mayor Pro Temp, the council members, uh, the Parks and Recreation staff, the Parks and Recreation uh, co Committee. When you start calling names, you get in trouble. <laughs> but I say that to say that no one person did this alone. It took our voters, our community, and everybody involved to help to push this project forward. So on behalf of the residents of the Sensational Southeast Ward, I thank all of you for what you do to help our community to be a better place to live, work, and relax. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Taylor. I'd like to now invite uh, Councilmember Adams and Councilmember Montgomery if they'd like to make uh, comments, please. Politicians don't give up a chance to have a mic. <laughs> uh, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, as, again, we want to thank everyone that made this project possible. We want to thank the citizens again for giving us the confidence of their tax dollars to go and do some infrastructural improvements to the city of Winston-Salem. Uh, Councilmember Taylor, Councilmember Montgomery, and I talked about six or seven years ago about how we need to make some of our jewels in the community destination locations. Our parks, we have a lake. A lot of cities don't have lakes, and the ones that do, they've done some great things with them, and it was about time for Salem Lake to get its due. Uh, with that, we're going to have marina, we're going to have a pavilion. As the council member said, we're going to have a lot of things that everybody will be able to participate in, whether you're a boater, a fisher, fisher person, or a bike rider, a walker, or whatever. You'll be able to come and use these facilities for family reunions, business gatherings, community meetings, and that sort of thing. Again, I'm excited about this because I'm a fisher person. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just want to thank, again, everybody for making this project work. It couldn't have been done without everybody. And I'm looking forward, Councilmember Montgomery, to all of the leisure uh, areas of the ward opening up to the city of Winston-Salem. Again, thank you. Thank you. Well, I think everybody has pretty much said 
what I can say, and that is to say thank you to all those individuals who've helped to pull all these pieces together. And I think they're right. When we look at our community, we think about what makes a vibrant and thriving community. We know that we have to have great jobs and great employment and individuals making living wages within our communities. And that's just only part of the puzzle. Um, being able to create a community in which people have great jobs but also have great recreation facilities is another thing in terms of what we look at in quality of life for people. And we want individuals in the city of Winston-Salem be able to have access to that. And that's just what this, this does. And what I'm happy about is that this was a process uh, that wasn't, wasn't concocted in the back room of people getting together and say what they wanted to happen. But it was a part of the community coming together and seeing the investments and, and the things that they wanted to see happen in community. And then not only that, but the voters went to the polls and decided that they wanted to spend their tax dollars on a facility like this and make that investment. That's what community and engagement is all about when citizens want to see something happen and then they push their, their elected officials to see that through. And that's what we're seeing happening today when we break ground on this facility. Now, I must say to Councilmember Taylor uh, mm -hmm. that the access point uh, to Salem Lake uh, is in the sensational Southeast Ward and, and the marina and all of that is, is great in the Southeast Ward. But as you begin to get out on the water, you begin to drift into the extraordinary <laughs> East Ward uh, and access on the other side at Limbo Road and the bathrooms and other facilities that will be located there. And those are important because we have great individuals in our community who come and fish um, and access on that side, but they don't have those facilities um, in terms of restroom facilities and others. And so that is a great point of the lake that's access. And so being, being able to have those amenities on that side of the lake are, is going to just add additional resources to the community of being able to access. So again, thank you to Tim Grant. Thank you to the city manager staff. Thank you, Greg Turner, and everybody else who's come to make this happen. And so I know there are a lot of people who are going to sit back and wait and are going to be excited to be able to take advantage of what's happening here when it all opens up. So again, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councilmember Montgomery, and, and you hit it uh, right on the head that this project is part of a strategic plan all throughout the city. And you, sometimes you don't think about all the linkages, but uh, just last week we began work on the Rails to Trails project right in the research park in downtown, an innovation quarter. That Rails to Trails project will come down and hit the Salem Creek Greenway. It will come all the way here and go around the lake. So folks here or folks in, in downtown can do a 26-mile loop and enjoy this wonderful facility as well as be part of the urban area. So it's part of a strategic plan and help to make that happen is uh, Mr. Jim Conrad, who is our chairman of our Recreation and Parks Department. I'd like to ask him to make a comment if he'd like. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, the only thing I can say that, that hasn't been said is Look at this beautiful place here that is put up by these wonderful electric officials. This is a stress reliever for taxpayers and their families, and I'm sure that you'll go out here and enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Conrad. Thank you, Mr. Conrad, and thank you for your service on the Recreation and Parks Commission. It was a lot of hard work, but the person who makes all this uh, happen and keeps it all going here, Mr. Tim Grant, our Director of Parks and Recreation. Thank you, Mayor. What a beautiful day. Uh, as many of the speakers before me have said, when you come to Salem Lake, there's just something calming about being out here and being outdoors and being in nature. And I've tried to get my office moved out here and have not been successful <laughs> with that. But this facility is going to be something a little bit different for us here and in the city of Winston-Salem. One of the very unique things that we're going to have as part of this new marina building here is that the citizens will, be, will also have an upper stairs unit with a beautiful view of the lake with a, uh, a decking that will go all the way around the lake that you can actually rent for family reunions, birthday parties, business meetings. And so that is a real added feature for us here and we know that the citizens will take advantage of it. Just like today is everything is turning green, Salem Lake is a beautiful place when the leaves begin to change colors in the fall of the year is absolutely gorgeous. We're just real excited and happy. We're very blessed and thankful to the taxpayers. We're very blessed and thankful that our elected officials also saw this vision and worked very diligently to make this happen. And I'd like to point out this is just phase one, phase one of Salem Lake. And we hope that phase two in the future will come and finish off this project. And we hope that you take the opportunity to come back and visit and spend some time out here at Salem Lake. I would like to acknowledge uh, the staff out here. Uh, a couple of people I want to just point out, uh, Bobby Hagee. Bobby, raise your hand, who's the uh, supervisor out here. 
Dick Butler, who oversees Salem Lake. And we are very blessed and fortunate today to have with us the family of the late Brian Hutchins. Would you all raise your hand? Many of you know that Brian Hutchins was the uh, lake supervisor out here for a number of years, and uh, his touch is still on us out here at this facility. I would just like to congratulate all of us and say, let's get this groundbreaking underway. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tim. Let me invite the uh, speakers as well as um, uh, Mr. Turner is here someplace, I think, to, to join us for the, for the groundbreaking.